Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Calculus 2 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to tackle the topic of surface area of revolution in parametric equations. It's a big, long title, and uh, really we've, we've made a natural progression up to this point, and let me review that now. We've talked about in regular functions, Cartesian functions, we've talked about the arc length. We've talked about that. Then we moved on and we talked about the surface area of a function that you rotate about the x-axis in Cartesian coordinates. Then we took a break and we talked about these things called parametric equations, which are just functions that uh, instead of having f of x, you have x of t, which is the parameter t, and y of t. Okay? Then we talked about the arc length in parametric equations, which was derived very similarly. And then here we're going to complete the circle and we're going to talk about the surface area of revolution in parametric equations. And you're going to see that it's very simple to follow by analogy to get this equation and it's pretty simple to use it. So, recall that the area of a surface of revolution is the integral, and, and this is Cartesian version, from A to B, this is re reviewing what we already know, is 2 times pi times f of x times the square root of 1 plus, uh, 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. So you're integrating over x. And this is something that we derived a long time ago. This is the surface area of revolution there, okay? Uh, and recall, just to spell it out for you, that this part of it right here, this was the circumference of a slice, okay? Of a slice of that cross-section. I'll draw it for you here in a second. And this part was the length of the, uh, of the, of the curve. That's what it was. So basically, to draw it for you here, if this is x and this is y, this is some arbitrary function. Okay. So what you're going to have is you're going to rotate this guy around. This is the function, and you rotate him around. And at every uh, value of x here, you're going to have a cross-sectional slice. And this cross-sectional slice is going to have a circumference. Okay. And that circumference is 2 times pi times f of x. f of x is given by, by this thing right here. The length of the curve is already given to you from the previous section. You put those together, you integrate, and that's what we already talked about in the previous sections was the area. Okay. Now I'm going to write down the corresponding version in, in uh, parametric equations without any proof at all, and we're going to look at why we think it's true. The surface area of revolution in parametric equations is the integral from alpha to bravo, so it's just the integral over the limits. Okay. Let me write it down, and we'll talk about it. 2 times pi times y. Uh, in this case, you know, it's y of t, just because we're talking about parametric, times the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared integrated over dt. Now let's look at what we have here. This part should look very familiar to you because from the very last section here, the one right before this one, this is the length of this curve when you have parametric equations, x of t and y of t. You take these derivatives, you plug it in, and we integrate, that's the length. This, I'm claiming, is the circumference of a slice. So looking back above, it's exactly the same form as this one. This is the circumference of a slice when you're talking about regular functions, and this is the arc length in regular functions. Down here, we're just using the corresponding versions in Cartesian. This we derived in the last section, and this is the only thing that I think needs explaining. 2 times pi times, times y. Well, in, in parametric version of coordinates, um, you have a function, x of t, which is a function of that parameter.